Agora TV. The world is thinking. Now, so Lloyd lied a little bit when he told you about the Hubble expansion that all the galaxies are moving away from us. Okay, that is absolutely true for almost every galaxy. Okay, but locally, because the local gravitational inhomogeneity is more important, uh, M31, interestingly, is actually moving towards us because the gravitational pull of the Milky Way is so much stronger than the Hubble expansion. So locally, you have deviations from the Hubble law. That's why Hubble didn't look at M31. Hubble had to look way beyond M31 to measure the expansion of the universe. Okay? So uh, the M31 is actually, we're, we're moving towards each other. And in fact, we're on a collision course. So galaxies are very dynamic things, uh, systems. Um, and give us an, a few more billion years, and the two galaxies are going to collide. You don't worry too much uh, when the two, probably the solar system will die before we collide with Andromeda. Probably the sun will run out of fuel. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, don't worry about that, but we do like to simulate them. Okay. So, uh, but there are billions and billions and billions of galaxies out there for us to observe, so we actually see. Uh, interacting galaxies. Okay, this could be future of the Milky Way and the Andromeda system. And this is the famous M51, the Whirlpool galaxy, where you see a phason spiral galaxy. This is probably what uh, our Milky Way would look like if we were able to fly out of the disk, looking at phason. And there is this a small satellite galaxy, as you can see, they're already tidally interacting. Okay. They probably haven't quite merged yet. They're on their way to their first collision course. And this is another system. And this is a, called a, a, a Antennae, a very famous interacting galaxy. Th this is believed to be at a more advanced stage of merging. As you can see, the two nuclei are already very close. But in all three pictures, you see the telltale sign of galaxy mergers, which is these long, beautiful tidal tails. Okay, what's in here are, uh, you know, the stars you're seeing and gas and dark matter. So uh, we are on our way to merging and with the M31, and this probably will be our future. So this is yet another beautiful example given by the Hubble Space Telescope called the MICE, uh, two interacting galaxies. Okay? Uh, if you allow me to just orient the postage stamp, there's nothing special with the orientation. Okay, so I just tilted a little bit. But I just want to show you that um, we are both Lloyd and I are actually theorists. So our observer friends give us these beautiful pictures, and we feel challenged to you know, explain these things. Right? Where do these things come from? Well, so we can actually uh, run numerical simulations uh, merging two uh, model galaxies together, okay? and to see if we produce anything looking like this. And this animation here shows a very simple simulation by Josh Barnes and showing two disks. Uh, these are star gap par particles, and you can see that as they move together, uh, the green and the blue uh, red show two galaxies, and they, as they interact, you get these beautiful tidal tails. This is all gravity doing the work, okay, spewing, spewing out, looking very much like what you see there. Okay. So we can use numerical simulation. I'll talk a little bit more about that, trying to understand galaxy mergers.